Okay, Jason Blair with Astro Roofing. We're out here on a 20-year-old tile roof in Boca Raton, Florida this morning, and um, customers asking me how he may be able to inspect his roof and kind of see how much life is left in it. Now, these roofs typically have about a 25 or 30 year lifespan. Um, and a couple of things that you want to check, for instance, is loose ridge tile. So you can see here, we have a ridge tile that's loose. A um, couple of things you can do is buy a good um, adhesive, maybe at Home Depot or at your local roofing supply, RT600 uh, can work good. Um, I like something that stays a little bit more pliable, but and so you kind of want to seal down and make sure that your roof tile are are glued down properly, you know, so um, or are sealed down properly. You don't have to necessarily redo any of the mortar, but you could just reseal all these cracks with, um, you know, a good high grade, um, like a clear sealant or something. Um, th these roof tile can be painted. You can put that back. So you can paint roof tile. You can do things to try to increase the lifespan of it. Um, but typically, you know, uh, tile roofs are a two-part system. So it really depends on um, a few things for lifespan. So complexity of the roof. Um, we're looking at this roof. It's relatively simplistic, but it does have these valley areas, which you will have or tend to have problems in as the roof ages. And he does actually have an active leak that he doesn't know about down here in the bottom of this valley and one that's already been repaired down at the bottom of this valley. And you can see he's had uh, some repairs done around this pipe, uh, which is in this valley. So around the pipes, around your valley areas, those are really where you're gonna have your leaking problems first. Um, typically not so much along the ridge lines, but um, outside corners too, as the roof ages, um, the fascia on those corners can kind of start to deteriorate and rot. So I just wanna kind of check around for cracked or broken tile and again a cracked tile such as this isn't so much of a problem this one's been glued down already but here's a good one a good example of one that um, shows that even though the tile is cracked it still has tile underneath you know so not like water is going to get there but water does infiltrate these systems into the valley areas um, and what happens as you can see, uh, when it gets in the, when it gets in these valley areas, it's supposed to come down, and then it's supposed to expel out these little holes at the bottom. So I'm, I don't know if you can see those little holes at the bottom. Those are called weep holes. And what happens is, when the tile when the water infiltrates the tile system here, it is supposed to expel out the weep holes at the bottom. Well, as this ages, those weep holes get blocked up with debris and gook and algae and things like that and it creates a pooling effect in that and you know um, roofs aren't meant to pool like that so you know as the roof becomes 15 20 years old those are the problems that you typically tend to have so again crack tile like this um, it's pretty much okay to, to just glue that back together or to seal that with like a clear sealant or something like that Again, you don't really want to, on an old roof like this, you don't want to rip tile out and put new tile in because you're just jeopardizing this area by doing so. These roofs aren't meant to be ripped apart and put back together. We do it when we have to, but you really don't want to do it unless it's absolutely necessary. So gluing tile back together is an acceptable method for um, you know just trying to get a little bit more life out of the roof. And typically damage like this is done by pressure cleaning companies. So. Um, if you're going to have your roof cleaned, what I would suggest is that you have your pressure washer go up on the, the roof and take pictures of all the damage that exists. And then tell them that you're going to have a roofer go up and take pictures of the damage that's there after he's done. Typically, roofing companies will come and do a free inspection. Um, we do, anyways. Um, so, you can come out and they'll take pictures of stuff like this. And then they can't be blamed for it. Um, you know, and again, these aren't big problems. Um, remember, water does blow up underneath these tile. The tile typically aren't the issue because tile roofs are a two part system. So, underlayment underneath, and this tile is like UV protection and erosion protection against the underlayment underneath. So, water can, wind can drive water up underneath these tile at times. 
definitely infiltrates in the valley areas, sometimes around these pipes. Um, but again, they're built in such a way that the water can drain out at the bottom of the roof. But as these roofs age, you know, that becomes more and more difficult to happen. So that's your roof inspection, and that's how to inspect your tile roof. Um, this is Jason Blair with Astro Roofing. Uh, these tiles typically have about a 40 to 50 year lifespan, but the underlayments underneath are very difficult uh, to get to last that long. And, and even when you can build the roof to last for 40 or 50 years, you're gonna have so much storm damage and traffic on these tile roofs that it's gonna be very difficult to get more than 30 years out of them. So uh, typically, we like to say a, a 25 to 30 year lifespan. You can get more than that, but it costs money to do that. Um, so, you know, that's, that's, that's your roof inspection. Jason Blair with Astro Roofing coming at you from Boca Raton, Florida. Give us a call today. 561-409-3280. Look us up on the web, astroroofing.com. That's Astro with two A's, A-A-S-T-R-O. We are the roofing experts. Get the best guarantee in the business. Look forward to hearing from you folks. Have a great day.